Well, uh, let, 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 hashtag fire Nick Saban. Let's get it going on Twitter. You can't have this now. Literally every time in the last five or six years that Alabama has, has lost a game or ever been losing a game, all these idiot gump fans are everywhere with the fire Nick Saban. So let's get it going. Not only are you losing here to the corn dog at halftime, you're getting absolutely humiliated. You're getting blown out. It's 33 to 13. And to be honest, the only reason you, ha- I mean, you really should, I mean, you're lucky to have the points that you do. Uh, one touchdown off of a 77-yard punt return and another touchdown where the cornerback, uh, the, the, the defensive back for LSU was literally taking a nap before the ball was snapped and Alabama's wide receiver just ran right past him for a, for a bomb touchdown. Other than that, Alabama's offense is absolutely pitiful and non-existent. Tua is terrible. Bench this clown. Get Tua off the field. Bring in whatever backup you have this year. Mac Jones. Tua Tabaka Baga Baga Jr., the little brother, whoever it is. Uh, and get rid of Nick. Promote Lyle Jones. Uh, listen, Nick Saban ought not even come out to the locker room in the second half. Fire this guy. Time has passed him by. You've had Lyle Butch Jones there for a few years now. We all know he's the head coach in waiting. Just promote Lyle at halftime. Send him out as head coach. This is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Uh, oh, and also, in two, in addition to that as well, all the idiots who spend all their free time pretending that everything is rigged for Alabama, that the the SEC and the SEC office and the officiating crews and and the head of officiating and the NCAA and all these people are all uh, in cahoots to just rig everything for Alabama to win. Please shut the hell up finally now and two in addition to that and three, please. There was at least three that I can remember off the top of my head calls in this game that if the referees were trying to do anything for Alabama, they easily could have manipulated those calls in Bama's favor. They all went against Alabama, all three of them. The the corn dogger catch uh, at the pylon, that easily could have gone in Bama's favor. There was uh, two other plays. What were they? I don't remember now. Doesn't matter. Uh, But Tua is terrible. Tua turned the ball over, whatever the hell his last name is. I can't pronounce it. Tabaga, baga, baga. Uh... An interception here, and that one really hurts, too. LSU scores with, uh, what, a minute to go or whatever it is, and they get the ball to start the second half. They pooch kick it to the gump. Uh, Tua comes out here and promptly throws it right to an LSU linebacker. LSU goes down and scores on the first damn play. So a 14-point swing in the last one minute of the first half here has the corn dog out to, uh, uh, I mean, a blowout lead here of the gump at home. And the sun is setting in Tuscaloosa. Uh, Are they going to have the balls to play that Big Lots light show that they have being down this much at home to LSU? Getting absolutely blown out, dominated, and humiliated in their own building. Are they going to have the stones to actually flip the switch on that Big Lots light show, that played out dollar store LED strip they have strung around the stadium, the wannabe Sanford Stadium light show. Please watch the Georgia game tonight at 7 o'clock, Gump. If you want to see a real light show, the only thing more embarrassing than Alabama's first half performance in this game of the century is that Big Lots light show that you guys plug in at the two night games a year that you get to have. Don't even do it in this game. This is embarrassing. I couldn't be more disappointed in you than I am right now. I wanted this to be a good game worth watching. They've been hyped this game up, pumped this game up, man. I've been waiting all week for this game, as has every other college football fan on earth. And Alabama just doesn't even show up. This is sad, man. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Got Donald Trump down here watching this train wreck. This is pitiful. Pitiful. Your special teams are still special needs. You, 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 a punt. You, you, you snap a punt over to the punter's head or actually hit him in the hands. He just couldn't catch it. Turn over there. You miss a damn extra point. And, and I don't, this isn't a one year problem with the special teams. What in the, what in the hell is with Alabama's special teams over the course of forever since Nick Saban has got there? I mean, it is, it's really mind boggling how, how dismal Alabama's special teams is year in and year out. But you're letting the corn dog come into Bryant Denny Trailer Park and absolutely gorilla drag you. This is bad. This is bad. 
70,000 people spent their entire month's welfare check to buy a ticket to this, and this is the product you put on the field? Bring out Lyle Jones.